तो अपने भूल गए हर छाप तिलक सब छे नीरे मोसे This blood-stained gate in Delhi, called the Khuni Darwaza, symbolizes the bloody rites of passage. The year was 1857. An 82-year-old Mughal, Bahadur Shah Zafar, had become the rallying point for the rebellious soldiers who had launched the first war of Indian independence. Delhi lamented its lost glory, and the British relocated the capital of their Raj to Calcutta. However, a strain of the Mughal lineage survived. While the successor to the throne, Mirza Fakru, was among the dead, one of his sons, Mirza Farkunda Jamal, was hidden away by a maidservant. Pakiza Begum's grandfather, then just five years old, lived to tell the tales of his lineage to his daughter and granddaughter. This is our city. Our ancestors, they were the founder of the city. Daily Raj, we are proud of it, but this is our city. Today, this retired government servant lives in an upper middle class locality of New Delhi. The city of tombs, the city of jinns. The monuments were the life of Delhi. They were mainly mausoleums of dead kings or commanders. They were palaces and they were forts. They were the three monuments in which the, particularly the Muslims, went in for. Traces of a lifestyle that was spawned by the Mughals of the Red Fort add to the romantic overhang of Delhi. These pigeons are no ordinary birds. They have been trained in the sport of kabutarbazi. This is Walking into the dingy walled city of Old Delhi is akin to opening a chapter of this history. The links with the Shah Jahanabad of the Mughals survived in many nooks and corners. In what is today a busy bazaar lived Mirza Ghalib, arguably the greatest of all Urdu poets. This decrepit structure once resounded with Ghalib's poetry. Ghalib's poetry was adopted by the courtesan before the court finally came to acknowledge his greatness. Sensuous voices popularized his poetry in the mansions of the rich before they woke up to the great poet. 11. George V, King Emperor, arrived at the Royal Delhi Dabar. Hundreds of local princes who owed allegiance to the Emperor congregated with their own displays of ostentation and power to submit before the British monarch. And it was at the Delhi Darbar that King George V decreed that a new city was to be built around the old Delhi, which would become the capital of the Raj. 